Come on, come back. Boom, see that patience? You gotta be patient with this game. Yes, we are gonna be installing Duck Hunt. I'm gonna be installing on top of coin ops for my computer using the Mayflash Dolphin Bar and a Wii Remote. Really easy to do. And this is a follow-up series using the Versus, which is an arcade style um, Nintendo ROM set. So we're gonna add those ROMs to our coin ops, but you can also do this with a standalone MAME on a computer using a LCD. I'm using a 27 inch monitor. You can use a big screen TV, any kind of display you want. But really, once you get it set up on your computer, you can plug any HDMI in it that you want. But we're gonna play some Duck Hunt really easily. You can too. Alrighty then, we have our Coin Ops Next Arcade Edition on the right side here. I just extracted it. It's all stock here. Um, and then on the left side, I went ahead and downloaded the Duck Hunt versus ROM. You want the DH3 version. You do not want the Game Choice version. And then I'm also going to do Hogan's Alley. And uh, this is the HA4 version. Alright, now to set this up. These are both light gun games. We're going to go ahead and uh, be able to play them. You can't play the original Duck Hunt via the Mayflash light gun, so we're going to do it this way. First, we need to get these two ROMs, keep them zipped up, and we got to add them to, remember, so back to Coin Ops, the main folder here, Emulators, main ROMs. We want to drop them in the ROMs. So we're going to paste those in there. Now we have the Ho Galley, and in D, we should have Duck Hunt. D, there it is. Now it's there. It wasn't there before, by the way. All right, so we've added the ROMs. Now we go to MAME64. And um, this is an unavailable game, so I'm using my mouse here. And I'm actually gonna use the search bar at the top. By the way, I'm using MAME0.196, so you don't have to use coin ops here. You can just go download MAME standalone, download these ROMs standalone, and just run all this through MAME, and you don't need this all this coin op stuff. Anyways, I wanna go ahead and search Duck Hunt. You can see just by typing Duck, I find the play choice one. That's not the one I want, though. Mm, I guess it's an available now. Um, this is my second time doing this. It might be an available. So I guess it's here. Duck Hunt. Okay. So it has it. It recognizes my ROM now. Enter. And then it should load up the ROM. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and escape out though. And then you can see here I also have my versus Hogan Alley as well. If you didn't find it, you might just want to type BS Hogan. And if it's, if it's not an available, go over to unavailable. Anyway, so it's available and I can just enter in because I've dropped that ROM in there now and I can play it. Now, this is my mouse. By the way, you guys could use a mouse if you want, but I'm going to show you how to do it on a light gun. Okay. Okay. And now that I've now that I've added them to my main, they're actually be in my coin ops as well. I still need to add the artwork. I'm not going to do that in this video, but I should now be able to go into like coin ops. So here I am in my coin ops. And if I go up to V, I now have my two games and I can just get to them straight from coin ops. So that's how you add these two games to your coin ops really easily. Okay, so we want to go ahead and plug in our Mayflash bar. It's already up here on the top, but I don't have it plugged into my computer. So go ahead and do that. Um, also, I was reading online. I don't know if this is true, but you probably want to put it in a dedicated port on your PC or Pi, whatever you're using this on, um, just because it draws some power. So, um, and then here I have my Wii remote. Um, you wanna go ahead and make sure it's on mode one. There's a little mode button here. Um, also make sure you have it set on to either top or bottom, and then also uh, sync it up. You just hit the sync button, but I already got it synced up, so I think once I just hit this trigger, because I've been using it, see it syncs up. The, once you sync it up once, it's just a matter of returning it back on again i have it on mode one so we're good that's what you're going to want it on and so we got the controller now let's just go ahead and launch coin ops we're going to get into the game and then i'm going to show you how to configure your controls so most of you want to see duck hunt so we're going to start with that game so what i do here is i have my keyboard so i'm just going to hit tab which gets me into the options this game's controls and as you see, nothing's done yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and then push my trigger. Okay, I was moving my gun, so it added a Y axis, but now I got it. X analog. Okay, there we go. All right, now we got gun one, gun two. You might wanna do a coin one on my controller here. Oh, I moved it. 
coin. Got it. Okay. And then uh, that's it. Escape, escape. Pretty simple, right? There's only so much things you got to do with Duck Hunt. You just have the gun, the trigger. So now let's insert coins. You got to shoot. I like to get a little further back. You can see my crosshair. By the way, you can um, you can go to tab here, go to uh, crosshair options. I can turn it off if I want. Um, on and then crosshair, it's just got a default. Maybe you can install other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and keep mine on because I'm a noob. All right, and it makes the sound effects and everything. So as you see, I'm moving this around. Remember, you only get three shots. Make them count. I, I, I should have shot both of them. I should have got a two for one there. Two for. Alright, got it that time. I thought that second shot was pretty good. Look at that, first try. She gotta warm up a little bit. That dog's happy now. Come on, come back. Boom! See that patience? You gotta be patient with this game. Boom! I'm on a roll over here. Alright, let's just keep going until we exhaust our. Still got it. Still got it. Remember, you get three tries. It's like rock, paper, scissors. I got to round two. All right, I think you get the point now. So um, we could just escape out, leave the game. And remember, we installed Hogan's Alley as well. So let's go ahead and go into Hogan's Alley. Another great versus game. It's a Nintendo game, but it was made for the arcade as well. And so we're going to have to do the game controls again. Oh, this is gun four, not gun one on my computer. Okay, so we got it now. You just had to do the X and the Y and see now I'm going around. Let's enter some tokens. Player one. This is actually, I, I haven't tried this game. I, I don't think I've ever played it before. Again, a little farther back, the better. Oh, what do we want to shoot? Oh, that was a newspaper. Sometimes the newspaper looks like a gun. You actually get quite a bit of time in this first round. Oh, I guess it's cumulative though. Right, that little number up at the top. Oh, you get a little more every time though. So I guess the profiling's not so bad because I mean they are holding a gun. <laughs> That's all your profiling. Is. Who's got the gun? Got it. You just gotta shoot them both, I guess. And they're probably gonna trick me with the innocence, you know, right? So far, no innocence. Once you move screen, you get to the new screen. Oh, there's my first innocent. Headshot. 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 I, I shot him! He's dead! Alright, this game might make you a little frustrated. I just got an extra life. Oh, Grandpa, I'm sorry. Grandpa, no. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, that was, see, that I messed that one up. I'll take the defeat on that one. Okay. So, pretty cool. 
adding those two versus light gun games. If you missed my previous video where I set this up with my May Flash uh, Dolphin Bar, all it is is a Wii Remote. You have all sorts of options for guns, and we're using the same Coin Ops arcade set. I just added those two ROMs to it. So yeah, if I still want to play Alien 3, the gun game, or Jurassic Park, the gun game, Line of Fire, Operation Wolf, um, a lot of these games will run really great. Steel Gunner, Steel Gunner 2, uh, and then Time Crisis. If you guys missed it, I played that game in the last video. So all this is running on the MAME arcade set, and so you can easily set this up, add additional ROMs, and it works really well with the Wii Remote and the Dolphin Bar. Make sure you get the May Flash Dolphin Bar. I will link to it in the description. More will come in stock. It just has four modes. It's gonna work for a lot more games and a lot more platforms, so grab that one. Anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.